Um, thank you very much for inviting me. And uh, I would just uh, to briefly talk about the uh, aims and scope of uh, Thyroid Federation International. It's an international global organization, first of all. And our main purpose is education and awareness of thyroid disease and related issues on diagnosis. Uh, the second thing is for the patients, access of medicine, affordability of medicine, and availability of the treatment in all the countries is very important. So we do look after that too. We also fight for the correct protocols in each country because there are guidelines uh, regarding interchangeability of a product because a product is a very narrow therapeutic uh, product. Uh, so, you know, you can't interchange it. And some places they do, so we fight for that too. And then uh, we are involved in clinical trials, survey, patient survey, guideline development with all the physicians associations uh, and uh, protocol development. We uh, are an organization that believes in evidence-based medicine and uh, we closely work with healthcare professionals and we also participate in uh, conferences uh, on the patient front. So this is what we do in essence. Uh, local country-based thyroid organizations are totally independent organizations that leverage global initiatives that we put in place uh, and the members of uh, Thyroid Federation International in each country, they follow that. Um, as many times the TFI, which is Thyroid Federation International, uh, we provide the voice and support needed to make necessary changes to protocols in each country to bring it to global acceptable standards. So many a times, uh, you know, things are different in each country. Uh, so we don't assert ourselves in terms of what they do locally, but uh, globally we have an agenda for that. Well, physicians necessarily are not patients themselves and they don't know the disease as personally as the patients do. So, you know, education and awareness uh, is uh, very important and to communicate to the physicians what the physician needs to know is of paramount importance because, you know, there is uh, what, 30 to 40 seconds sometimes and sometimes there is one or two minutes with each uh, patient. So you have to leverage that small window of opportunity to be able to communicate with, with the doctor and tell the right thing. So we really believe more in partnership with the physicians rather than being against each other so that, you know, things can be done better. Now, physicians, doctor learn a lot from patient organizations and make themselves uh, to educate the patients better because we have webinars, we have conferences throughout the year, everywhere across the world. But these physicians, uh, they give their personal time to us free of cost and come and talk to the patient because they also benefit from hearing what they go through. So it's a two-way process. Okay, you know, we have a medical advisory board and we also have members of the organizations like the ATA, which is American Thyroid Association or ETA, uh, that is European Thyroid Association, and our materials are specially made in that language, which is easy for the patients to understand. See, the thing is the medical language can be full of jargon that people may not understand that, but we make sure that it is put in simplistic uh, words that resonates with the patients in terms of understanding. And it is tailored in, in their languages uh, across the world so that they can understand. We organize patient uh, forums each year with the annual general meeting, for example, European uh, uh, Thyroid Congress is in Brussels next year in September, then October we have uh, in Montreal, in Montreal, which you have not heard of. In Montreal, we have American Thyroid Association because every five years, or four years, they have a Congress in Canada because US and Canada is uh, together as American Thyroid Association. So we have a forum where the patients are invited free 
and they can interact with doctors and we break them into groups, people who are interested in thyroid cancer, people who are interested in graves, uh, people who are interested in uh, hypothyroidism. So we break them in group and they ask the doctor's question and this go on for one or two hours or whatever time it takes sometimes, you know, longer. Uh, and now with the pandemic, we have had this online. So we decided, you know what, a lot of people cannot come to the place where the meeting is being held. So whenever we have this in future in person, we will also put it in online so that more people can across the world take the benefit of that. Well, the personal highlight this year is for the International Thyroid Awareness Week. We have chosen the topic thyroid and communication. Okay, so that's a topic for us, thyroid and communication. What does it mean, thyroid and communication? We've often seen the gap between the patient and doctor, you know, in terms of understanding. So we are going to uh, invest time and resources this year so that they can make sure uh, they know what are the kind of uh, things that they should prepare when they go to the doctor. Look, uh, thyroid medication, for example, levothyroxine, can interact with a lot of other medications. And people think that they are taking an OTC medication and the OTC is not a medication. They just think it is, you know, that doesn't need to be told. But I think we want to let the patient know, look, why, when do you have the medication? Okay, what are the other supplements that you are taking along, you know, with a little bit of lifestyle details, etc. So that there could be a better dialogue between the physician and the patients, and then they can understand where are things going wrong in case they are going wrong, or where are things going well in case they are going well. So that is one thing. And uh, we have planned for online serve, uh, webinars for that. We also have uh, in-person meeting because we are optimistic that this pandemic is going to go away. So we are planning for that. But if that doesn't happen, we have the online version. And uh, January is a thyroid uh, month in only Canada and USA. OK, so January is just in Canada and USA for what reason and how they came up with that, we don't know. But uh, uh, for us, uh, May is the thyroid month. And for us, uh, May 25th, to May 31st is a Thyroid Awareness Week, which we call International Thyroid Awareness Week. Now we have been doing this for 13 years, and I think this is going to be the 14th year next year. And uh, uh, we do in uh, support with some companies like Merck, uh, KG for the last 14 years. So, um, and then there are other organizations like Horizon, like Exilexis, who also support us for, for with, the, with these. Um, uh, to do International Thyroid Awareness Week. So this is what we are doing next year for 2022, thyroid and communication. That is going to be a big topic.